Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to lovely Notting Hill and the not so lovely shop that we're going to do, going to do today. I'm going, I'm going. Um, and not so lovely shop we're going to today is no, no, it's not Notting Hill. It's called Bayswater. And out of all the shops that I've been to, this is my least favourite. I'm going to change down again. These lights keep changing in front of me. Watch the vans as they make a desperate jump. And this big tall building signifies our left turn, I think. What is it we want? Pembridge Road. It's been a while since I've been here, so I'm having to resort to the Met. I should say Pembridge Road, hopefully. Pembridge Road, good. Watch out for the taxi, and away we go. Going down this street normally is usually rammed with people all over the place. There's one of those green taxi drinking parlour things. So yes, this street is usually rammed with people to the point that avoiding him is quite difficult and is anyone going to let me go whilst the people continue to go across the crossing that's DPD out of the way approach isn't quite that bad. It's the shop itself that's the worst and it's my least favourite because we are in London so London traffic is its usual jolly self i.e. a complete nightmare and then we've got to back it down into an alleyway into an underground cavern and I don't care who you are or what sort of driver you profess to be anyone who claims to have got on the bay in one is lying because it is physically impossible to get on the bay in one because you have to do such a weird and contorting manoeuvre there's traffic bombing it around. <clears throat> We're not all six foot six in width. So we're coming up to these traffic lights, which signifies that we should stop over, uh, stop over, no, just pull over. And turn our fridge off because reversing into an underground cavern uh, the fumes do tend to quickly build up so I have to turn our fridge off and note what our temperatures are so it should be 12 up front and 2 at the back so I'll have a quick look and then phone the shop so this is the borough of Bayswater. Nice little quaint place. Not really the place to be taking a lorry. Not 
one bike available for hire. So there's the second set of lights, which means in a minute we will be coming across our shop and you will be sharing or I will be sharing all the delights with you that is Bayswater and you will soon hopefully come to see why I absolutely hate it if we eventually get going that is It's gonna change now, it appears. So, this is the second set of lights, which is a good thing because I need to turn left and I can't turn left down that one. So, I'll stay out wide, and the lights once again change right in front of us. So the reason for staying out wide is because traffic comes right up to the line and that guy there was actually about a foot over the line so we don't have much space to turn left. And once we've turned left we're going to have to probably park up on the left even though we would prefer to be on the right. And we've also, not only have we got to reverse off the road into a narrow little alleyway, we have to negotiate our way around a traffic island in the middle of the road as well. And it's in such a position, and it's very annoying. And if you ever come to this part of Bayswater and have a look, you will find that oh, this traffic island has some light green paint on it and these trucks are painted a light green colour so here's the shop there's the traffic islands and a load of parked cars as per usual There's our alleyway. And is the gate open or closed? The gate is open. Then to make my move. And as you can see, London traffic, they don't care, they'll just drive around you. Now 
put a thread my way through here. Watch out, cyclist. They don't stop. Watch out for this car, watch out for the island, watch out for traffic, make sure my trailer is going the right way. behaved its well behaved itself fairly well today so we're in the alleyway now and now it's a simple a uh, simple 90 degree blind side reverse by the way I haven't mentioned I'm actually I've got one of them shorter urban trailers or the cock up trailers as I call them so now so if you tried getting a normal length one in here it just wouldn't happen but what we're doing is we're sending the trailer as close to that corner over there as we possibly can to try and spin it round as fast as possible and I may have left that a bit too late uh, well, perhaps not and watch out for that bollard there This is why you can't get on the bay in one because you get so close to that wall and you're so misaligned with the loading bay and I may even have to start all over again that is so out of alignment and it's going to take me forever to get it over there uh, okay. uh, start again start again or could I I don't know and then get the front end into this corner here and we might stand a chance it's going to be very difficult with the guide bars on the floor Oh no, it appears to be going. Uh, 
I think we rescued it at the last minute. There we go. Oof, I've had worse coming in here. Yeah, but uh, I think that's probably about as easy as it gets, really. So yeah, you can see why that um, you can't get on the bay in one because we're just too close to that wall, and the alleyway isn't wide enough to get the swing you need to make the corner. But I shall unload now and I'll see you on the other side. Right. Off we attempt to go. And I say attempt because this guideline thing has appeared and is right in the way. Where I would like to stick my cab, but... Alas, no. So we're just going to have to take it little by little. But hopefully, the wheels of my life don't slowly come falling off. So park the front end in there. making sure we don't tag his van with the old trailer and we should now be in a fairly good position to get out and if that blue car is parked there that is going to be very annoying so just skim past that bollard, stay out as wide as we can to try and clear the old scaffolding which I think we're going to do quite easy. Clear the bollard with the trailer, wave goodbye to the moon. And there we are. <sighs> Gone up into third, or oh, no, second, and fine, whatever. No traffic. My God, we're blessed. Oh, yeah, that bus is moving so everyone can get by. It's fine. It's fine, doesn't matter. Yeah, we're out. Oh, there we go. Shuffle up a bit more. For Bayswater, that was fairly painless. If the traffic's against you, it can be a right pain. Oh no, oh, the lights have changed once again. 